Hi folks, my name is Jane Cheek and I am a mixed media artist. Today I would like to share with you how I created these uh, hanging wall planters using graphic Sterilar paints and jewelry supplies. Alrighty, so today we're going to be using two clear sheets of Duralar in the 14 by 17 inch size. We'll use some high flow paint, a spray water bottle, exacto knife, ruler, pen, paper cutter, scissors, um, a sewing machine, a crop -a dial, some eyelets and jump rings and chain and pliers, and the full list is down in the video description. Let's go ahead and start painting. So when I'm working on something like this, I like to just splatter the paint and have fun with it. So we're just going to put some paint on there, spray it with water, and then sandwich it between two pieces of Duralar and smush all the paint around so you get it everywhere. Then you can spray it with alcohol spray and either let it air dry or hair dry it if you're as impatient as I am. Once the Duralar is totally dry, trim it to a 14 by 14 inch square and then starting with the painted side down, fold it into a basket using the origami cup fold. replay that fold real quick again in case you need it. So you start on a diagonal with the painted side down, fold it in half to make a triangle, fold the left side in and the right side in and the flap down and then flip it over and fold that flap down. Alright, so next up we are going to add some decoration to the front of our basket and I'm just cutting out some geometric shapes and taping them together. I'm getting a layout that I like and then I tape it to the front flap of the origami basket and tape the rest of it so it's out of the way for sewing. Over the sewing machine we are going to use the leather sewing needle because that's designed for synthetics and once we get it sewn together we are going to take off the tape and I typically need an exacto knife to trim the tape off of the stitches. Um, just be careful not to cut the stitches themselves. So once you get the tape off, you are going to be ready to start adding the eyelets so we can hang it up. All right, to hang it up, you want to measure one and a half inches in from either side at the top, and you do that on the front and the back, and then you'll punch with your crop dial and add four eyelets, two on the front, two on the back, and I like to face them all forward so that um, all the backs of the eyelets are facing the wall. And then you add one jump ring to each eyelet. So you put four jump rings in, and then you're gonna measure two nine inch lengths of chain. The chain is gonna get connected to the front and the back on the left side and on the right side. And once you have connected the, the front and backs, you connect the midpoints of the jump rings, of, I'm sorry, of the chains together with a fifth jump ring. And that jump ring is what we hang it from. So now we're ready to fill it up. So I put some rocks in the bottom of mine for drainage and I fill it with dirt and add some pothos because pothos is really hard to kill and a little bit of water and then they're ready to hang up on the wall. And I made five so I have a nice assortment. But if you don't have a green thumb, don't worry, they hold art supplies really well too. You can learn more at janecheek.com or graphicsarts.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and be sure to tag me in your basket posts.